morning and welcome to day two of the 2023 MOEF uh, BOK FSC IMF International Conference. It is indeed a mouthful. So thank you very much for your attendance. Uh, for those of you who did not attend our conference yesterday, allow me to introduce myself once again. My name is Julian Cho, and I've been given the honor of being your facilitator uh, for the two days. Thank you very much. Well, it was an honor yesterday, and it is indeed an honor today to be hosting uh, such a distinguished group of delegates. So thank you for gracing us once again, and we look forward to the discussions today. So the overarching theme, once again, is digital money and navigating a changing financial landscape. Yesterday, we had uh, three panel discussions and an opening speech by the Honorable Managing Director of the IMF, Dr. Kristalina Gerogieva. And she talked about, uh, or she gave a story of the innovators and lawbreakers. She talked about implications and precautions for the industry. But not only that, we also had wide-ranging panels from public to the private sector that uh, talked about thought-provoking discussions uh, on digital money and assets, its role in the global economy, its use cases, as well as the regulations related to it. So today we will have uh, four panel discussions and two speeches, and we'll look forward to what comes next. So without further ado, let us begin our international conference for day two. And yesterday, we were not able to have the pleasure or the honor to enjoy uh, our next speaker's presence on the first day. And so today, I believe it is all the better because I hope that he will be staying with us for the entire day. And for his speech on CBDC, I would like to have the honor of introducing him up onto the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Governor of the Bank of Korea, Mr. Chang Yong Ri. Good morning. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be part of uh, this important discussion on digital money with real experts like you here in this conference. I extend a warm welcome to the, all the esteemed central bank governors, Eddie is here, Stephanie is here, and many others, and our distinguished panelists and guests who have gathered from uh, both near and far. Uh, my special uh, acknowledgement goes to Kristalina, the IMF Managing Director, for her visit to Seoul. Uh, and today, our focus centers on the evolving landscape of central bank digital currencies and stable coins. In this context, I'm pleased uh, to share insight and key learnings from our recent endeavors in CBDC pilot project, as well as uh, our strategic preparation for the future. Over the past two years, the Bank of Korea has embarked on a uh, a key project uh, piloting a retail CBDC system using uh, distribu distributed leg technology. This initiative, conducted in collaboration with leading financial institutions, have gave us uh, valuable lessons. While uh, our approach shared similarities with uh, global efforts, a notable distinction was our development of offline capable retail CBDC functioning independently of internet connectivity. Although uh, DLT technology is not a prerequisite for the CBDC functionality, uh, we, ex uh, we explored it uh, because uh, to uh, prepare for the broader future applications. A critical question emerged from our pilot. Uh, what justified the introduction of a retail CBDC in a country we, uh, like Korea, who has already uh, equipped with an advanced fast payment system. The potential advantage of a retail CBDC over existing fast payment method, particularly when competing with benefits 
offered by credit card and open banking, like uh, air mi airline mileages, remains unclear. The adoption of CBDC by individuals, uh, given these existing preference, is unpredictable. Uh, tentatively, we conclude that way. Nevertheless, a significant advantage of retail CBDC could be its uh, programmability. This feature unlocks uh, realm of possibilities, such as executing complex conditional transactions automatically through the smart contract, akin to assembling uh, money, uh, money Legos. However, it is, uh, we find that uh, it is worse, uh, we find that such programmability benefit is also possible under the wholesale CBDC, not just the retail CBDC. So with these uh, lessons, uh, uh, while we are contemplating the adoption, introduction of what kind of CBDC we will explore, the digital financial landscape continues to evolve rapidly. The, the prolific proliferation of stable coins such as USDT and USDC poses new challenges to central banking operation. Despite their name, stable coins often lack stability raising a concern about financial stability. Their widespread adoption could diminish the role of central bank money and impair the effectiveness of monetary policies. Consider, for example, the introduction of PayPal's PayPal USD. While currently restricted to US domestic use only, the potential involvement of global networks like uh, uh, you know, Visa or MasterCard could pose significant challenges for countries like Korea, particularly in managing capital flows and maintaining monetary uh, policy independence. Thus, uh, this underscores the urgency for central bank to consider introducing CBDCs, whether retail or wholesale. The, in Korea, on the other hand, the impetus for CBDC pilot uh, is not solely a central bank initiative, but is partly driven by the private sector. Our young and, uh, innovators and entrepreneurs, especially uh, in the industry of tokenized assets, are reshaping the uh, marketplaces quite rapidly. For example, a company called Casa issues a token representing building ownership, and the K-pop company sells NFTs of their girl groups and in, uh, including uh, voting tokens. These developments are reminiscent of decentralized autonomous organization. If I go to detail, these girl groups, the company sells the FT, NFTs for the, these girl members' pictures, and based on how much pictures sold, you know, they distributed their revenues, and also the uh, you know, fans who bought these NFTs can vote which girl should be in the center of the uh, stage and uh, those kind of things. In some sense, they're really the example of the, how they are using this DLT technology to have a more you know, active participation of the uh, you know, fans. So these are the clear uh, indication that there is a market demand for reliable payment tokens such as CBDCs and tokenized deposits to facilitate transactions uh, in this tokenized asset industry. In response to this development, the Bank of Korea, in collaboration with the Financial Service Commission, the Financial Supervisory Service, and in close coordination with the BIs, led by Mr. Hyun Sung Shin's team, is set to launch a second CBDC pilot project, and we announced it in October. This initiative will primary, uh, primarily focus on a wholesale CBDC and its integration with tokenized bank deposit. Additionally, we will explore the issues of tokenized e-money by banks or non-bank financial institutions fully backed by the wholesale CBDC. These tokens will be regulated and circulated within a, a unified monetary ledger and managed collectively, uh, collaboratively, uh, collaboratively by the central bank and the participating uh, financial institutions. We also aim to explore separate uh, satellite ledgers for special purpose payment tokens issued by FinTech, 
or non-financial corporations. These tokens uh, designed for specific transactions within the satellite ledgers will be linked to the uh, main monetary ledger. A unique aspect of this pilot is also its ex uh, extension beyond the proof of concept phase, invo involving real world transactions with thousands of participants at this moment we are thinking. Uh, this approach is relatively rare in the context of tokenized deposit pilots globally. So if I sum up the key objectives of our new pilot, uh, uh, I can mention a few things. First, uh, uh, we want to demonstrate the real-world benefits of the programmable feature of the CBDC, particularly uh, in tokenized deposits. By applying uh, programmability into tokenized deposit, not directly to wholesale CBDC, this approach aims to maintain the singleness of money principles, ensuring CBDC remain universally exchangeable while uh, fostering innovation among private banks to meet clients' needs more flexibly, flexibly and they can compete with uh, FinTech and other non-bank institutions. Furthermore, we seek to uh, mitigate the risk of bank disintimidation by enabling banks to issue deposit tokens. This strategy aims to balance digital currency innovation uh, with the preservation of our uh, established existing two-tier monetary system. Another crucial objective is to access, assess whether regulated tokenized deposit by bank can serve as an alternative, uh, effective alternative to privately issued stable coins redirecting the focus of our young innovators and fintech companies toward the uh, uh, tokenized asset business, which is their aim, rather than being distracted by the potential large revenues uh, from ICO. So we want to really provide a well-regulated government, central bank-led uh, uh, you know, payment instrument rather than encourage them to issue the cryptos or stable coins and we want to them just focus on what they originally you know, advocate in their businesses. In addition to building domestic infrastructure, we anticipate that uh, probably in the near future, uh, we hope that we can extend our pilots to encompass uh, cross-border transactions. In that regards, here Tobias and Tommaso's paper and the BIS research can uh, probably guide us, and then we want to share our knowledge uh, with IMF and BIS. Uh, before concluding my, uh, my speech, I'd like to hi highlight several unreserved issues and challenges uh, while, uh, we met while we are designing our pilot programs. It may be Korea specific, but it can have uh, some important implication for others. Uh, at present, we plan to uh, permit only tightly regulated finan financial institution to, uh, to participate in, in our monetary ledger, uh, which is st strictly managed by the Bank of Korea. However, uh, we cannot come up with, and there is uh, uncertainty regarding the participation of non-depository or non-financial institution in the ledger. If they were to be included, questions arise about the extent of their involvement and their primary regulatory authority. In Korea, for instance, the Bank of Korea is definitely the primary regulator for a wholesale CBDC. But the regulatory framework for tokenized deposit or stable coin is still remains unclear, particularly uh, in relation to our regulator, Financial Services Commission. And uh, we are now actually, I'm very happy to see that they agreed to make uh, uh, tokenized deposit and stable coin is not a part of crypto asset. But, uh, that kind of discussion has been not very clear so far. So we, that, that this is indication that laws and regulatory framework has to be developed together with the uh, introduction of a new product and technology. Another challenge is the implementation of appropriate uh, regulations. Consider, for example, allowing fintech companies to issue special purpose payment tokens within a satellite ledger which is linked to the main monetary ledger. Initially, moni monitoring a handful of these platforms may be feasible, 
we can give a permission, to, we can give a license to few uh, uh, non-financial uh, institutions and fintech companies to establish this kind of separate ledgers. But as their numbers exponentially increase, effective supervision will become daunting. This raises a this raises concern that permitting non-financial institutions to participate and link satellite ledgers, their own satellite ledgers, with a main monetary ledger might uh, inadvertently give an impression that central bank is endorsing unregulated stable coins, potentially undermining uh, financial stability. And also, we are not so sure whether we can trace the money transactions uh, in the satellite ledger if once they, you know, the tokenized deposit and money leave our uh, our monetary ledger and maybe used in a public blockchain, it will be very hard to trace uh, what's going to happen after that and what is the impact of those kind of transactions on the reputation of central bank uh, and the regulators is a, is a big concern and uh, we are in, uh, in the process of debating these issues with the regulators. This issue isn't just uh, exclusive to CBDC to speak at this moment. The Bank of Korea is on track to introduce a real-time growth settlement system from 2024. We hope that we can finish it by 2028. The introduction of this new RTGS system, especially RTGS fast payment system, has sparked debate over the same debate uh, whether non-financial institutions should be included in the new network. Their inclusion in principle could force the competition with the bank potentially reduce the transaction costs for the clients. However, it also raised concern about increased settlement risk by introducing non-regulated agencies directly into the RTGS system. So resolving this issue is crucial for the Bank of Korea before we in launch the RTGS system or integrate CBDC with the token ID deposit. So pending issues and we hope that we can get a good advice from from you too. In conclusion, uh, some lessons only be gleaned through experience. Uh, the digital currency platform we just described cannot be fully comprehended through theoretical research alone, as it involves uh, establishing an unprecedented financial market infrastructure. This necessitates engaging with a diverse group of stakeholders, including bank, non-bank, business, people all ages, in Korea society, youngsters and old men has a quite different approaches. So whether you know, crypto is a good thing or not, you can imagine that uh, how diverse the opinions is. And the regulators and the registrators, together their perspectives and understand how to mitigate risk in practical scenarios. Let me assure you in my experience in the last one and a half years in discussing this issue, I spend more time with the regulators and the registrator rather than the technical, you know, professional steps. So technology is only a part of, uh, you know, the uh, issues that in involving the developing a new system. And I hope, I believe that if we enlarge this issue into the more global context, I don't know <laughs> how daunting the task will be. And, uh, I, and also our tentative conclusion is that even if we introduce uh, uh, this system as we described, we are not at this moment so sure whether CBDC, wholesale or retail, will be embraced by the people uh, immediately, given that uh, you know, they are so accustomed to using credit card and other fast payment system. Even if it's not used widely, but we believe that uh, if it can existence of this kind of new form of money will definitely contribute in many aspects as we discuss. So uh, my conclusion is that digitalization is an undeniable trend and present uh, a reality. Central bank must be proactive and be prepared to engage in this evolution. We also have a responsibility to educate our citizens about this new development. And the Bank of Korea's initial and subsequent pilot programs represents uh, the first step uh, in this uh, extensive journey in Korea, at least. And uh, in closing, uh, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the staff, 
Bank of Korea in IMF, and uh, the other Minister of Finance and others who has worked tirelessly uh, behind the scenes to make this event successful. I saw that uh, they spend day and night in preparing these uh, places and uh, sending you the letters and all this logistics. So I'm very grateful for their effort. And also, thanks for your attention. I really hope that you enjoy your stay in Seoul. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Governor Rhee, for your speech uh, and, of course, setting the stage for uh, further discussions today. I believe that the panelists uh, in the further discussions